Okay, so this is going to be a little bit unusual. Uh, I'm not here to pitch an idea. Uh, I'm not even going to pitch a product. And I'm not even going to ask you to fund my company. So the sell today is that I'm pitching a nation, an entire nation, the nation of Wales. I'm going to try and convince you why it's the best place to invest, start, or grow a digital business. Brighton's is pretty good. Uh, so my name is David Morinder. I run an organisation called uh, Innovation Club. Uh, I just want to get a sense of the audience today very quickly. So how many of you have even been to Wales? Put your hands. Okay, this is good. This is good. 30-40%. How many of you know that the Raspberry Pi, that symbol of British technology, is made in Wales? How many of you know that? What? Damn, you're from Wales. <laughs> Second question, how many of you know that a Welsh company, company called IQE produces 50% of the semiconductor product that goes into wireless chips used in iPhones? 50% of the global market, how many of you know that? Okay, are you from Wales? Uh, and how many of you know that we have something called the Alacrity Foundation, which is a, an entrepreneurship startup boot camp uh, founded by both the public sector and Sir Terry Matthews, one of the biggest global tech entrepreneurs on the planet. Did anyone know that? Okay, so I've got a bit of work to do here. A bit of work. Um, this is just an image of kind of the ecosystem of stuff going on in Wales. There's a huge amount. So if you're a company thinking about where do we find the public sector investment to let me grow my company? Then Cardiff has just received a 1.2 billion city deal from the UK government, the largest uh, investment of its sort seen in the UK. If you're trying to work out where you find your next software engineering graduate talent from, Cardiff University has a national software academy churning out high quality, uh, engaged business graduates deep software engineering skills uh, with a portfolio of projects where they've delivered work for companies. And if you're looking where, as an investor, where you can find co-investment, then what about Finance Wales, who co-invested £140 million into the region uh, last year. And my organisation, Innovation Point, works with all of that network. Uh, and we've created um, an accelerator programme called the Digital Dozen. Three of the companies, just to give you a sense of the kind of organisations we're working with on that programme. So an organisation called Proper, a startup business trying to transform, transform the whole uh, purchasing process of property and real estate. Disperse, an organisation who are changing the way in which international funds are developed and distributed from charities through to end organisations. And they're basing that on blockchain technology. And Zonart Networks, an interesting organisation, have a Wi-Fi solution that can track anonymously an individual throughout a retail store in real time down to one or two centimetres of accuracy. Lots of applications and potential. So we're working with those kind of organisations and if you work with us in the region, uh, you can be part of that. So now you're thinking, okay, this Wales place sounds interesting, uh, but I need a bit more. I need to immerse myself in the world of tech in Wales. How can I do that? Well, I've got the answer. So we have a two-day digital festival. We've run this for three or four years. We have a thousand people a day based in the center of Cardiff. Entrepreneurs, innovators, startups, keynote speakers, workshops, <coughs> We have a boat where we take people around workshops uh, and you can immerse yourself in the Wales tech scene over a two day period. So uh, my message is simple. If you want to start, grow or invest in uh, digital businesses, then Wales is the place to do it. And if that's not enough, because I know one or two of you may still be doubting, I've got a little video to show you which lasts just one 